Hi, this is Marcy of Earth Sky. June's full moon is called the strawberry moon, not because it's pink like this, but because this is the time of year when berries ripen, including strawberries. At full moon, the sun, earth, and moon are aligned in space with earth in the middle. The moon's day side, its fully lighted hemisphere directly faces us. A full moon always lies opposite the sun. It rises in the east opposite the sunset, is highest in the sky at midnight, and is low on the western horizon at dawn. The moment of June's full moon will occur at 2.44 a.m. Central Daylight Time on June 11th, so the moon will look fullest before sunrise that morning, but it will still look full on the evenings of June 10th and 12th. Look for the full moon rising opposite the sunset on June 10th. The bright red star Antares will be nearby. The full moon on the evening of June 10th is located in the direction of the constellation Ophiuchus. It's between the constellations Scorpius and Sagittarius. And here's something interesting. The path of the moon in June mimics the path of the sun in December. So from the northern hemisphere, the June's moon lies low in the southern sky. And here's the southern hemisphere. The path of the June moon mimics the path of the June sun. So your moon is arcing high across your northern sky. So that means for those near the Arctic Circle who are experiencing the midnight sun with 24 hours of daylight, won't see the full moon. It never rises above your horizon. While those on the opposite side of the globe near the Antarctic Circle will see the full moon the entire day and you'll never see the sun peak above the horizon.